So we're just gonna drop our things off at our tent so that we can see my sister's reaction to her tent. She's never been in anything like this and she's gonna be mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Like, look at this. I get this all to my. Yes. This is really crazy. This is not what I expected at all. This is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking photos of everything. <laughs> so, this is my sister. She's come all the way from Canada. And actually, we share the same birthday. But for the last, like, what, two years, <laughs> we haven't been able to have our birthday together. So, this year, I'm taking her on safari. We did the coast. And um, yeah, we're having our birthday. Crazy. Here. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to Luxury Migration Camp by Sunworld Safari, a brand new camp here in the Masai Mara. We can't wait to show you around. This place is like fancy, fancy. But first we're gonna have lunch because we came all the way from Nairobi and we're starving. were there trying to start a fight down there. <laughs> I'm still not convinced they're not. Anyways, if you can't tell, we have a ton of hippos in front of our tent right now. Let me show you our tent. So I'm getting very distracted. Um, but basically, all of the tents are facing the river and we have this massive patio porch here that we can sit outside, have our coffee when it's delivered in the morning, or just sit here right now and watch the hippos, which I'm probably gonna do after this. But enough of me talking, let me show you the room. Okay, so welcome to our tent. When you come in, we're gonna start at this end. So we have the full bathroom here. I really like these sinks, they're really cute. Um, shower there and toilet there. Same old, you would expect that from a tent, of course. But when you come over here, so a couple of unique features. This is the main bedroom part, so you have your bed there, but if you saw our video from Lion's Bluff, this is actually the same company. So they even included the glass, like floor to ceiling glass window panes here as well. So that way you have a full view. I mean, it's not impossible the hippo can be right there to be honest, but basically over the river into, into the hippos. But the other unique feature is they have like, it's not necessarily a second bedroom, but kind of. So if you're coming with uh, kids, you can have a child here <laughs> and you guys can be in the main room. So this kind of helps that you don't necessarily need to get the entire family tent, which is fantastic. Denise, are you ready for your first safari? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a go for safari number one of the weekend. By the way, meet James. James is going to be your safari guide for the weekend. <laughs> and we're hoping for elephants. Everything. Yeah, everything. yeah it's Denise's first anything. safari, so everything is impressive right now. <laughs>
good thing that the party is over for all those lion eating that buffalo because there's two dominant male on their way. We can see them at a distance. I think the meal is over. So you can watch them. They're all slowly leaving. A couple are still kind of eyeing it, but the rest are like, eh, I'm going to get out. So we just finished our first game drive, and we have to ask, Denise, how was your first game drive? Like the coolest thing <laughs> ever. And just as we were going for supper, they brought chicken wings, they chicken brought the meatballs, meatballs, uh, plantain chips, and popcorn. I love These popcorn. These chicken lollipops are so good. So good. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Okay, so my sister's never had Ugali, so I have to show her. Now, I'm probably gonna do it not 100% correct, but take a piece and you just kinda like mash it in your fingers. Look at each other. Take a little piece. Once you have it like this, like a little piece like that, and then you just pick up your fish. <laughs> Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Thank you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> that was amazing. Good night. So supper was super good and lunch as well and the cake as well, but that's not on the menu, it has to be your birthday. <laughs> no, the food has been super good and it's been super nice to have my sister here. Um, she's the first of my family to come out. So you kind of get excited all over again. Yeah. Kind of like exploring, seeing it for the first time through someone else's eyes again. It's yeah. really cool. It's just cool to bring somebody that has never been on a safari yeah. with you in the truck. It's just, it's like your first safari again. It really anyway, is. Um, talking about safari, we're doing another one at 5.30 <laughs> in the morning and it's 9.30. So we got to go to bed. And while we're going to be sleeping, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Travel Payout. So if just like us, you'd like to make money while traveling, then you're going to want to hear about Travel Payout. But Tracy, what is Travel Payout? Travel Payout is the ultimate digital platform for content creators. So we all know and trust travel brands like Expedia, Booking.com, Viators, and many more. And all those brands are actually partnered with Travel Payout. So next time we go on a memorable adventure or next time we stay in a hotel that we love, we can not only recommend it to you, but also make a commission if you decide to go on your own adventure. And here are just a few examples like the luxury hotel we stayed in New Delhi. The amazing boat ride that we've been on uh, in Phuket, Thailand. Or many of the safari experience that we're having here in Kenya. established content creator, this is a great way to gain a new source of income. If you're an aspiring content creator, this is a fantastic way to start earning money now instead of waiting for your first sponsorship or for your video monetization to come in. Now let's talk money because Travel Payout actually has similar and sometimes even higher commission rate over other direct affiliate program, meaning that every time you make a recommendation, you're getting the maximum payout. Since people are viewing your content and reading your travel blogs in all different time zones around the world, this now means you can make a mission even when you're sleeping. So if just like us, you want to start making money from your content, make sure to check out the link down below for Travel Payout. What are you waiting for? Money. <laughs>
Good morning. We all slept very well, and it's very nice because the hippos decided to let us sleep until 4 a.m., which was very, very nice of them. Uh, but now we're gonna go on our first morning game drive with Tracy's sister, and let's see what we can find. this morning Denise is like um so we're getting out like we're allowed to get out and let's get out. we're gonna sit here and enjoy our coffee and breakfast so we just sat down for some breakfast we have some yogurt some fruits and we have some sandwiches some pancakes I'm not sure what this is yet but I'm gonna eat it <laughs> lots of good food Back in the truck, fantastic breakfast, bellies are full, and now we're gonna go see what else we can find. How was the breakfast with hippos? Amazing, <laughs> amazing. As much as some people would be bummed by getting stuck, for me, like getting stuck is just part of the safari, it's like okay. part of the adventure. That definitely took a little more effort than um, what it normally takes. We were stuck, stuck. Yay. Good as new. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. See you later. <laughs> what a morning this was. What was your favorite part? Mm, I was having breakfast with the hippos. <laughs> I always love breakfast thoughts. The giraffe. The giraffe walking up yeah, beside the truck. Up yeah, the, it came so close. Like from the, line, mm -hmm. walking yeah. up the hill. Now we're gonna have a quick lunch and then we're gonna show you guys around this camp because we didn't do that yet. Okay, so now that you've seen the tent, you've seen how much we love the food, the safari, let's see the rest of the camp. So one thing that I absolutely love about these types of camps is when you are outside, like when you're driving around, you actually cannot tell that they're there. Um, it's basically completely hidden by all of the trees. So as for room configuration, there's actually 10 tents on site. Two of them are family ones and then th the rest of them, not three, eight of them um, are the rest of the luxury tents. Okay, now let's keep going. So one thing to keep in mind is this is all along the river. So no matter where you are, you're gonna be able to see the river in turn right now hippos everywhere like i can still see hippos and we are now at the dining room <laughs> so welcome to the dining area when they can they try and have their meals outside but just in case that it is raining there's still an inside dining tent as well and it's so beautiful at night with the lights that are you can't even see them right now they're just hidden in the trees but it gives such a nice like ambiance oh, it's beautiful okay so let's go this way so then you have behind the dining area this is the cutest little tea time spot that I've ever seen. My favorite is just the decor of it, the fact that it's sitting on a bike. Anyway, had to point that out. You come this way to the bar. Again, everything just kind of flows and fits in. It's not like a huge structure that kind of stands out like a sore thumb. It doesn't happen like that. It's beautiful. Into a little seating area. So especially if it's raining, you could have like your sundowner drinks in here as well, but I do prefer to have them outside, and you'll see why. This way, and 
you have a porch area here. Over here, you have a little bit more seating, a fireplace here. But this is one of the main features that I love. You can sit here with your drink, no matter the time of day. Probably watch hippos all day long. At least we have. Every time we've come down, there's always been hippos there. So it is absolutely beautiful. So the last little tent on property, not little, um, is actually a photo lounge. So there's lots of space here if you want to bring your own laptop or if you need some space to kind of work. But also on top of that, in the very back, there's a computer there already hooked up. So you can kind of go through the, your photos that you've already taken on your camera, need to make any adjustments for the following day, anything like that, as well as a projector screen. So also two in one, it is actually a small shop here. So you have some clothing, any necessities that you need. I'm shocked my sister hasn't seen this yet because I feel like, well, obviously not on my head, but this is a very her style hat. Just wait till I shower. Time for another game drive. Oh, let's go! came around the corner. We have our own private sundowner spot here, so we just have a glass of wine, lots of good snacks. Um, and there was a hippo over there, and we heard lions in the distance. No better way. <laughs> So we actually ended up having a beautiful sundown. It was stormy right on the right, but the sun, the clouds moved just enough to have the sun peek through. It was beautiful. Now time to go back to the camp where we're gonna have a little supper, but tonight apparently uh, the girls wants to dress up. So we'll, we'll play dress up. It was great. Thanks. Big thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> So we just came back to a beautiful setup for a bush dinner and it is absolutely stunning. The amount of lanterns and everything, we've got a campfire here, it's fantastic. Oh, Tracy and I kind of agree that like this is one of the most beautiful bush dinner setup we have ever seen. Like with the lanterns and the lights everywhere, like it's a 10 out of 10. This evening is just getting better and better because on top of our little bush dinner, we're actually having some live cooking. They call it Mongolian night. It's like a bunch of vegetable. You pick your vegetables, your sauce, and your carb, and they just cook it live in front of you, and it looks delicious. Just stood up real quick. We just had a, a close call. A hippo just walked like 25 meters from us across the, the opening there. We're good. False alert. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> in the morning. Goodbye. That's fine. I didn't even want to hug anyway. Okay.
Oh my goodness. That was fantastic. Um, honestly, in all aspects, not because of the hippo, not like... Yeah. Yeah, one of the best uh, bush suppers that we've ever Just had. Just the setup was so nice. And it the was food fantastic. was really good too. Yeah. Not really like safari-like, more no. like Asian style, but like delicious. So, so, so yeah. good. And then of course, to top it off, when we saw the hippo, we like... <laughs> A moment we will all remember forever. Yes. But overall, like an amazing day in safaris. Like, I mean, we saw like that crazy lion mm -hmm. this morning. We saw quite a bit too. Got stuck, part of the adventure. I'm oh, so yeah. dirty from it and I love it. Yesterday's lion experience still, I guess I can go on the yeah. recap of the video, yeah. but man, it's been a great weekend so far. We still have one more game drive left. Yeah. So, see you in the morning because it's uh, 5 30. Yeah, yeah, gotta go. Good morning. This morning we're going on a game drive. You're doing well. You should start a channel. <laughs> Come on! Once again, we thought we were going back to the camp for breakfast, but apparently, we're eating it into the wild. Well, I feel like this was a successful safari in the Masai Mara. It's really great because we had like literally everything. We had a private sundown, bush dinner, bush breakfast even. And bush breakfast. This is and the we second had one. A, a hippo last night, which is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a great experience. I will never probably ever get again, which I like I'm not leaving. I'm gonna stay. I'm staying. If Denise just becomes I'm part of the Dave Manny vlog, you, you know why. This yeah, exactly. Why. She decided to permanently move to Kenya. Yeah, exactly. Here I am. So like we said before, through Sun World Safari, we had only been to Lion's Bluff. And this being their newest camp in the Mara, and it did not disappoint. Like, it was everything I expected it. Yeah, even to though it's like, brand it new, it's already reputation. like well run. Yes. I think you should come check it out if you want like a luxury camp. They also have basically like three tiers of camp that is kind of all close together. So they have like the luxury migration that we're at, um, the Mara private wing, and Mara bush camp as well. So, depending on your budget and things, yep. great company. Yeah, so all yeah. our information are gonna be down below. And until next time, see you guys. No, 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 no. Next time! <laughs> Was that right? Close enough. Yeah, close enough. So, a big thank you to Travel Pilot for empowering creators and for sponsoring this video. 